Hello everyone feel warmly welcome to Usitility. Today we are on the way to see how to launch and play Dead Trigger 2 on your PC. Now you are able to display it on screen. We will be able to simply download and set up Dead Trigger 2 and enjoy your game on the Windows PC with gamer keyboard if we want to, mouse and large monitor. Then it's time to have fun, let's go! First of all folks, the first thing to do is to launch our favorite browser. We open the one we prefer. Let's go to that URL I'm highlighting in green color. Now, you can discover on the PC screen. You don't need to type it, simply because there's a link in the description of this video and as well in the first pinned comment. We landed here on the website of Usitility, in which we have a meticulous overview on how you can download Dead Trigger 2 on laptop or computer. We scroll down a little bit and simply click on the download game on PC button. Once we click on the link, we get to the website of LD Player. No panic, it is only the Android emulator that we will use to enjoy the game Dead Trigger 2 on PC. It is now obvious that we access some advantages of preferring using that emulator. Custom controls, multiple instances, instance synchronization, macros, scripts, high FPS, etc. Now we will start downloading the Dead Trigger 2 by clicking on this button download Dead Trigger 2 on PC that I have marked in green color. The step is clicking on this button. And the download action takes no time at all. Here it is, here is located the download. It's an executable file. The following step is to run the installer, so we click on this file. If we are on Windows 10 it will have asked us for permission to make modifications to the device. We clicked yes, I minimize the browser to find the installer better. The installer is really simple, it contains two choices, install, and setup path. I am going to make it clear what setup path actually does. We basically click on it. So we see that we end up with here the path where in fact the emulator is going to be installed. If we would you like to vary this directory we must click on that, browse, option. And now we choose another folder and set up the emulator wherever we want. To keep it simple, just set it by default. Then, I click on back. And I click on install. Right now, before starting installing the emulator, it is also possible that it will offer us several computer software offers to put on on the laptop. As I do not want to have any of those computer software, I simply press each time on the reject button. Now, there it is. The installation begins and it will commence with the download of all these MB that are displayed on our computer screen. After you save it on your hard drive, it might possibly be slightly more or less megabytes. The download speed will go at a higher speed or slower, based on your type of access to the web and according to the data transfer rate of the emulator web servers. Today they're working superbly fast. The download is has been completed, and at present it proceeds with the setup phase. The setup needs more or less time depending on the strength of your machine. The more robust it is, the faster the software setup time and or vice versa. If we combine the download and software installation stage it may take quite a while, so show patience. It is now ended for me. At this moment, the emulator has been started instantly. As you can observe, down here, there's a progress bar that will move forward to the right and when it has reached the ending, the emulator is going to be launched for the first time. In reality the emulator has already been started, here it is for the first time. So LD Store is automatically started, which is a sort of Google Play. This isn't the smartest option to install the game, and so I really don't suggest it, simply because quite possibly the LD Store puts an obsolete version of the game. Allow me to explain you how you can set up the Android game by utilizing the Google Play I recommend you to do it this way. First of all, we must make is to go to the computer's desktop by clicking on this software icon that I'm pointing out in green. Before we continue, as you can see, it has made two software icons here on the computer desktop. The LD Player and LD Multiplayer. Note that the LD Player app icon will be the one we're concerned about. When we want to start Dead Trigger 2 on the desktop or laptop, we double mouse click on that icon and as a result run the emulator. The LD multiplayer icon is not related to multiplayer or even anything such as that. The truth is, it is an icon that we would certainly never use. Why don't we do the following step, which is a requirement, and that is to visit the Google Play Store. To do this we will browse there to, System Apps, we click. And we'll click on Play Store. As you can discover the Google Play is launched. At this point we need to log on. At this point when we're here, we must definitely do this next phase which is mandatory. Therefore mouse click on, sign in. At this moment it says, checking info. It could from time to time get blocked in, checking info, and it fails to proceed. 
If so, you can attempt to log in in after a couple of hours and it will usually be corrected. At this moment we are going to provide our username and password. The email really needs to be a Gmail email and its corresponding password. As an example you make use of the exact same email you're using at this moment in your YouTube account. So I will submit my information and I will go back after I have accomplished it. That's it. Data typed in. This is Google welcoming us and supplying us the twos. We would agree to them by just clicking, I agree. Following, it offers us to save to the Google Cloud. You can let it checked and this will make a backup of the data files on that device to Google Drive. I am not going to check it, you can utilize that option if you want. We click accept. The Google Play is launched as preferred choice and automatically. Whenever the Google Play is not presented instantly and you don't know how to launch it by yourself, I display how to do it right. The first thing is to proceed to the emulator desktop by simply clicking on this app icon marked in green color. At this point we go to the system apps folder. And we click on the Play Store icon. Alright, we're right here inside Google Play. What we shall do right now is browse here to, search for apps and games. So we are going to locate Dead Trigger 2. Presently there we get it, we will pick the first result. There we have the game app. Why don't we just click here on the, install, choice that I am just displaying now in green. And this will start the software installation. At this moment it would install the game app. It usually takes a while or perhaps it may possibly be extremely fast. It all varies on our own connection to the internet. It has just ended installing. Now, let's go to the emulator desktop by clicking on this specific button that I'm highlighting in green, if you want to start Dead Trigger 2 for the first time. We are already on the emulator desktop, and we're preparing to simply click on the fresh Dead Trigger 2 icon that has been provided. The game is started for the very first time. So there we have it, I am able to mouse click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I will comment on the volume level of the emulator. It's here, we use the icon of higher volume as well as the icon of lower volume, this way we will not use the Microsoft Windows volume to increase or decrease the sound of the emulator. And to enjoy the experience to the maximum, we can switch on the big screen, for which we have two alternatives. This is the first one, we mouse click on this particular icon which I am basically mentioning in green. And the screen is maximized, offering one border on top, one on the right side and the last one at the bottom. In the event that we want to run the game using all the screen, we click that application icon. And we might presently be enjoying the Android game in full screen function. To escape the full screen mode, just click the F11 key. And we'd now be in regular screen setting. At present, I am going to demonstrate you the keyboard mapping that is surprisingly helpful. This way we definitely will be ready to utilize the game far more effortlessly. The very first thing is to press this software icon. And there you will be able to get the necessary controls. I will let the normal configuration, but if you intend to improve that, you can do this without having problem. I consider this opportunity to say that from time to time, when opening the game a dark screen comes out, if that is like this and you get the black display and this emulator does not launch, I suggest a doable solution. We would go here, to the cogwheel. In the emulator options, in the advanced choice we have a multitude of image resolutions. The following is the image resolution that we have currently opted for automatically therefore we should select any of these additional resolutions, for example this one here. We choose it and next press save. It will certainly ask us to reboot that emulator and as soon as restart it, likely the emulator will start up and this black screen will go away completely. Obviously, the emulator is completely in our own language. From time to time it occurs that the emulator is presented in the improper language, as an example, in Chinese. And then to set it in the proper language we browse here to the cogwheel. And here inside of other controls, we click on the, language, drop down. We are able to go for the language we like, English, Mandarin, and so forth. When the language is chosen, we are going to save, the emulator will restart, and the Android game, next time we run it, would of course be in the specified language. At this moment, there is another information that we must take into consideration, and it is that we will get an email indicating that a new electronic device has been connected with our own Google account. It will check with us if we're the people who have connected that electronic device. Yup, we shouldn't get worried, considering the fact that emulator is acting as an Google Android smartphone or tablet. In order to see which smartphone or tablet is being emulated, we go here, to the cogwheel and we mouse click on it. Therefore we go here to the, model, choice. And here we observe that the emulator is emulating a Samsung smartphone. 
And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. That's all folks, so much for our tutorial. I sincerely hope you liked it, especially that everyone found it useful. If that is so, bring it a great like, subscribe, and any remarks, questions or ideas, put them in the comment box below. You could possibly also leave comments on my Twitch channel. I actually do live streams on occasion. You have it listed below in the video description and in the first pinned comment. Check out any of those video tutorials which are usually appearing on the list of videos to watch and see you in the next training videos. Bye.